Paul said, let that mind that was in Christ be also in you. Be not conformed to this world. When will you start conforming yourself to this world? World system. Peace system. Be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewal of your minds. Oh, there had to be a transformer of the mind. There had to be a transformer of the mind. If you're a born again believer, that's what we're talking to right now, the born again believer. People that say they're born again, there had to be transformation. If not, you become an articulate symbol. Make a lot of noise. Make a lot of noise, they ain't saying nothing. But the scripture says, scripture says, God. Truly we thank the Lord today. The gospel has to go forth in the last few days. The Bible said we're living in perilous times. We're living in times where people want to compromise the word of God. The Bible says that heaven and earth shall pass away but his word shall stand forever. The engrafted word of God his unfathomable word of God that's able to sow, save, able to deliver, able to make one whole. The Bible says that we will be in season and out of season, rebuke and reprove with all long suffering. For the time will come where man will not endure sound doctrine. That's time we're living in. That's time that we're in. But Jesus Christ Hallelujah. Send aside today to spread his gospel. To let the world know that the wage of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. He's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. Hallelujah. And you're not talking about the building. So many people in their minds, they say, we're going to church. You are supposed to be the church. His echo seal. The one he called out of darkness to walk into his marvelous light. Sure that he cannot That's save. Right. He's my co-pilot. Why do you need that for? Oh, he's, 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 he's within. He doesn't live outside in the but statue. He's within. He's, he's, he's always there. What's that? But, he cannot he's hear. but why do you need that to remind you? But I was Someone saying, gave I was Jesus. Jesus. That? From Someone him. gave me Jesus. Someone gave you Jesus. Yeah, and then I accept him. I was saying, I reached out. Now, I can carry you. How do you accept him? That's why the Bible what? says, By, uh, come out of her. Accepting his grace and being baptized? What, uh, come out of her. Come he out said, he, in, uh, in John 3, he said to Nicodemus, Who is which, is a, which was a Pharisee, he said, again. He, he said to Nicodemus, which was a Pharisee in John 3, again, you him. must be born again. Of what? course. So that, means, that, that means you must be it's born impossible. again with his spirit within. So you don't yes. need a, a statue, a cross to remind you because he's always oh, he's within not, you. He's not remind me. I just let him know. Let just him saying. Say, he, no he, he doesn't not, reside in not. a statue. You know what I mean? He resides within you. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. He let everybody know who my co-pilot is. Yeah. That or way so many people have fellowship with dark like you guys. Go on, preach the gospel. Okay, man. With wickedness. Dark, dark, dark times. They say they're born again believer. It's impossible. They say you're preaching judgment. You're preaching hate. It's hate to those that hate the truth. God, the same God, 
yesterday, today, and forevermore. He is which was, which is, which is to come. He is that same God that destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. The same God. Same God that rained down fire and brimstone. He is the same God that made it rain 40 days and 40 nights. Oh, but people want to say he changed. He does not change. Man change, things change, people change. They change car, change clothes, change job. But God doesn't say what? Need to repent and come to the Jesus Christ. Thank the Lord today. Jesus Christ is the true and the living God. The Bible said that this gospel be here and here to the old that are lost. Why? Because the God of this world. There is a God of this world. How y'all doing today? We enjoyed your sermon. Uh, Assembly of God Church. And you spoke right from the Bible. Amen. Amen. And I want to just thank you. Now I'm here, we're here with our son. We do not indulge in anything. We are like a candle. We weep us for the Lord. That's right. And I, I just wanted to tell you, we're in our 80s, and I really, we brought our seats down just to listen to you. Amen. We stay, we stay right up front, and we heard you on the balcony. I said, I've got to get closer. Amen. Praise the living God. I do want you to know that I read the Bible every day. Amen. And I know the Word of God. Let's go. He's preaching right in the Bible. That's so right. The Lord has put him here. That's right. And I don't want you to be discouraged by this crowd. We don't do this. We we light the candle, really. We get in the elevator and we speak good up to Jesus. And um, I'm not going to say this is the best place for us to be honest. No, but I had to say the word. Would you hear too? We go out to places like this. Yeah. yeah. I do thank you. What's your name? Dorothy Henley. Okay. Dorothy and Henry Henley. We're from Butler, Alabama. Oh, right near Meridian, Mississippi. Oh, okay. So I want you to know we thoroughly enjoy it. And I just, I seen some people that look like they might have been giving you look like the best Lord to be daily. You know. Praise God. Yeah, we, I saw you sitting over there. Amen. Yeah, we, brought our, we brought our we brought our church to this. Amen. And uh, I want you to know we certainly enjoy it. Yeah. And every time we come, if there's a preacher on the street, we always go out to listen to it. And they also have church in one of these auditoriums. We go there too and they raise their hands. And uh it's not the worst place in the world. It is not a good place, but the Lord can lead you wherever. It's what's in your heart. That's right. And I knew that you were preaching from the Bible. I told him, I said, I read the Bible, I know the Bible. Oh, amen. amen. You sister, testify of it. My sister was a Sinly God preacher. So uh, we go to the Sinly God Church. We, our family, our Members of the same with our church, not that the church is not going to get you to heaven. No, man, that's right. It's what's in your heart. Yeah, we, got, we got to be the church. We have a church here now. Amen. And I tell you what, everybody that goes to a different church, how about somebody go to heaven? You don't have to belong to a church. Why, well, exactly? But anyway, I'm sorry these people give you. No, we, we, ex we, we expect it. We Lord, expect it. The Lord is with you. People hate, the, people hate yeah. the word of God. He is on your side. He is in I hate control. it. I want you to know that we thoroughly enjoy it. Amen. 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 Amen.
Orleans. Yeah, we thank you for the encouragement. We listened to it, we couldn't hear you flying. I said, I got to go down. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Thank we, you so much. We were all, be, we're in our mid 80s. Ah, right. It's everywhere. We've been married 68 years. Oh, wow. Years. We were very, very, young. very, very rare nowadays. We just prayed the Lord to let us together and we've been together. Amen. Just a good husband. Amen. Well, we, we give him praise because we live a Christian. Life. That's right. Amen. Okay, I'll I thank you. Right. I'll, I'll take care. We didn't yeah. come for you to notice us, but I said, Oh, I saw you sitting over there. To, yeah, to, yeah, we saw y'all listening. These people come by this loud music. I looked at one of them and I said, If you just turn it down, you don't know what kind of words you're here. Thank you so much. All right. Well, thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you so much. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Jesus Christ is the true and the living God. He is the one that is able to save to the uttermost. The Bible talks about, hallelujah, that he is the image of the invisible God. For God is a spirit. And those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. There's nothing but truth in Jesus Christ. And he's coming back, hallelujah, to judge this world of nothing but truth, righteousness, and of sin. We've been living in a time now where people gravitate toward their sins. They love their sins. But the Bible says your sins shall surely find you out. Oh, sin will find you out. That's why we had a time for.